Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. English, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Omate True Smart. Alright, so a lot of you know that uh, I've been waiting on this watch for a very long time, and uh, Omate is a company, a startup company that started off on Kickstarter, and um, they wanted to bring a, a new product to the market. Uh, the smartwatch, um, but they wanted to do it a little bit differently. So they campaigned for it. They ended up getting over a million dollars worth of sales to help back them, and uh, it seemed like it was going to be a you know a pretty a pretty good success. Uh, with any company, uh, especially on Kickstarter, I mean, everybody's aware that there's always delays. Um, pretty much, I got a great product. Uh, I'm happy with it. It took a while to get in, and the wait was probably the, the worst thing for me. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is to, uh, to please your backers, to please customers, and uh, I feel like Omate kind of failed in that department. My watch came in. I didn't get any notice. Uh, I didn't get any tracking number, nothing, nothing at all in the package to indicate um, that I was an early adopter. I mean, this watch I pledged for originally back last September for the October Dev Kit Edition. So this is uh, this is actually the Dev Unit for uh, the Dev Unit that I pledged for 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 the October backers. Um, and I just now got it, so I got it last week and uh, spent about a week with it, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. It's a it's an awesome watch. I have to say it was well worth the wait. Um, even though I wasn't that happy with the weight, but I was well, it was, it was well worth the weight. This watch, I mean, is awesome as a companion and it, it's standalone by itself. It's, it's, uh, it's advertised as a standalone and pr pretty much I prefer it, prefer to use it as a standalone. Um, there's really no need for it for me, uh, to, to have it synced with my, with my, uh, my Galaxy Note. Uh, no, no reason at all because... It, it almost defeats the purpose. It is kind of like, what's the point? You know, spending a week with it, um, I tried it with a companion, and you know, I'm so used to checking my phone all the time um, that having it on your wrist is a, it is a, a convenience, especially in the line of work that I do in my profession. You know, I'm always, uh, I'm always in the lab. You know, I always have a lab cut on. I'm always wearing gloves, so you know when I. When I take my gloves off and change them out and throw them away and wash my hands, you know, it's it's kind of a hassle to, you know, go into my pocket and check my phone, especially doing the kind of work that I do. Um, it's not very smart. <laughs> but with it on my wrist, um, it's a lot more easier. I can take off my gloves, wash my hands, and then, bam, you know, check my phone, you know what I mean? And say, oh, hey, well... Oh, got a notification, bam, you know, and then that's that. Um, but as a standalone, I've I've used it a lot more mainly because when I'm at work, uh, we have Wi-Fi. Um, when I'm at home, I use my Wi-Fi, uh, and this thing it comes standard with a uh, you can use a you know a SIM a SIM card in your watch. So you know I can easily put my phone SIM in there, or if I have a like say you have a prepaid or something, uh, you know. Right now I'm using a prepaid SIM, um, not mainly to use calls or anything, but mainly just to, uh, if I need to, like if my phone dies, you know, I have a backup option to make a phone call. Uh, so I keep a back, you know, a prepaid backup SIM in there just for that. Uh, other than that, man, when the Wi-Fi is connected like it is now, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you can check pretty much everything you want on here. I have pretty much every app on here that, that I use. Um, the only app that I had a problem with um, that doesn't work too well is uh, Flipboard. But um, once you get into like articles and stuff that you want, it's easy. To, it's easy to flip through Flipboard and stuff like that. But I wasn't really pleased with the way it was. Uh, this is running standard um, 4.2 uh, Android 4.2, and uh, you can always be flashed to a newer ROM to a 4.3 ROM. Oh, I've got a notification right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like I said, that's Facebook. 
Uh, so uh, I'll give you a little in-depth look of uh, what to expect with the watch. And um, but like I said, it's it's a it's a great product. I think it was a great um, great idea. Um, definitely a great idea. I know that they uh, Omate had uh, put out probably like a couple weeks ago or last week or so that uh, to to get prepared for the the newer uh, the newer version of this watch this September. Um, and a lot of people have mixed feelings about that. I mean, I had mixed feelings before I received mine, but you know it's kind of a slap in the face to backers uh, who originally backed the Kickstarter who still haven't gotten their product yet, but people who placed pre-orders after the Kickstarter Kickstarter ended, you know, have already been receiving their watches. So it's kind of a slap in the face for original backers who backed the project to even get them started. So I can kind of, you know, I kind of feel like it's a, it's a letdown and a slap in the face to say, hey, to everybody who hasn't gotten their watches yet, we're coming out with a new watch in like a few months time. You know, it's like, uh, Really? Why don't you give me my watch first, <laughs> and then we can talk about a new product. So, but yeah, like I said, uh, I'm glad that I got my watch. Um, this is only one week into it. I'm, you know, I'm going to be shooting uh, probably some more videos with it, and uh, just keep you updated on how the watch works pretty well. Um, washing my hands, uh, at, like work and at home and stuff, it, seems, it works fine, but I'm too scared to, uh, to take a shower with it. I won't do it. Uh, some people have already stated that their watch has malfunctioned just from like dropping it in the bathtub or, you know, taking a shower with it or even washing their hands. So, you know, it's supposed to be uh, waterproof, but, you know, it is what it is. The watch is awesome. So uh, if you were thinking about getting one of these, your best bet is to grab one off of uh, eBay or you may even make a pre-order. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know if you can pre-order them now. I think they ran out of pre-orders, actually. And um, so I don't think you can pre-order one for Momate. But uh, they're going up like crazy on uh, on eBay. People trying to make a quick buck, trying to flip the watches uh, pretty quick. And I have to say that this product, out of all the products that are getting ready to be released, like the Moto 360, um, Krios is coming out with one. I mean, we have the LG the LG smartwatch that's uh, coming out. I mean, with the Samsung Galaxy Gear and the Gear 2 and all the, the new ones that Samsung's already put out. Um, the iPhone still hasn't, you know, Apple still hasn't released anything on their upcoming watch. I mean, with the competitors up and coming in, the, up and coming in the game, you know, it's, this is, uh, this is something that I think that they have to match, at least have to match. Um, because, I think the biggest hurdle that is going to come from any smartwatch that gets put out in the next year, the biggest hurdle that these companies are going to have to figure out is the software. The software is going to make or break the watch. And um, what I love about this is it's fully customizable. It's full Android on your wrist. There's no water. It's not a watered down version. There's no... Um, yeah, you know, it's not like a crappy cut down software. So, I mean, you got full Android uh, KitKat on your wrist um, uh, or Jelly Bean, and it's awesome, man. I mean, the, the op, you know, the possibilities are endless. This is like having, like you said, you root your phone. This is having your phone on your wrist, and it doesn't look that bad either. I mean, I've had people ask me, oh, man, that's a nice watch. They thought it was like a Sunto Vector or something like that. Um, that's popular among military. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, no, it's a pretty, pretty clean watch. Pretty, uh, pretty low profile, and I'm, you know, I couldn't be happier with it. So uh, definitely uh, check it out. Uh, also, I like to see, as you'll see in the video, um, there's a I have a Google Play Store in there. Uh, it doesn't come pre-installed on the phone, so you have to definitely uh, put that on there. It wasn't hard at all. All you have to do is go to uh, the xda.com forums, uh, check out the, uh, the Omate True Smart 2.0 uh, thread, and uh, you can go download the APK uh, from them. Like I said, check it out. I hope you loved the uh, this uh, this short in-depth uh, video. Uh, try to get some good angles, uh, just let you see kind of what the watch can do. 
I know I didn't go too in depth on uh, the camera and the camera modes and stuff like that, but that's something else I'm going to do in a later video. This is just so you guys can see the watch, uh, see it function a little bit, and then uh, make your own opinion about whether you think it's a, a worth it, a worth buy uh, right now. Um, so, like I said, thank you guys uh, for watching. Thanks for all the comments, and also please, please, please go stop by and uh, visit me on the InsideTheWeb.net. That's uh, www.insidetheweb.net. Uh, the links will be below. Like I said, thanks for all your support and, uh, and continue to watch. Thanks, guys. Peace.